There is Narek Zakarayan, 18 years of age from Armenia. His opponent, fellow 18 year old Vladislav Gudzi of Moldova. Ashok Kabilan Sai of India is the referee. Both of these men preparing for their second bout of Kielce 2021. Vladislav Gudzi with a very clever display to eliminate the aggressive Japanese boxer Ryoma Yamamoto using his slick style poor skills. Zachar Ryan prevailing with a unanimous points decision win Kukuski of Belarus. Well, you can see the difference in stature between these two boxers, so the tactics evident. Zakarayan has got to try and find a way to get inside the raking reach possessed by Vladislav Gudzi up on his toes and looking to use his range. Getting busy on the inside is Zakarayan. But Gudzi, a very composed operator because he was put under real pressure in his round of 32 bout by Yamamoto. Just took his time, find his range as both boxers go looking for backhands. Gudzi comes back out with his hands down by his belt line and he's flicking out jabs. Nice spearing right cross landed by Gudzi. And then another left jab, but he takes a corkscrew left in response from Zakarayan. So Gudzi looking for that backhand. Oh, beautiful use of the left hand out of the neutral corner from Goodsey. Wrist dexterity enabling to just turn the left hand and produce a different angle and type of shot. Right hand dug into the rib cage of the man in blue by Zakarayan. That's a rather languid right uppercut thrown by Goodsey and he was almost counted by Zakarayan. Leaping left jab followed by a hard right cross landed by Zakarayan. So Goodsy staying on the perimeter of the boxing ring, but he's not using his range here, and that is why he's being picked off when his back touches the ropes. Zakarayan doing a good job getting inside and landing punches at mid range. Goodsey looking to establish that distance once again and keep the gap, but successful in breaching it is Zakarayan. And again with a left jab and then a right hand, and he's putting the man under pressure, swiveling his head from side to side with his left and right success, and a beautiful left-right combination off the back foot for Zakarayan. Beating the taller man to the punch, and he lands another pile-driving right cross with Goodsey's back to the ropes. Goodsey... Looking as though he's content to operate on the perimeter of the boxing ring, but once his back touches the strands, Zakarayan triggering quick feet and invariably tagging him with a right hand over the top. Very good opening round for the man in red. Well, looking for that shot once again was Zakarayan, but he was off the mark. Boxes trading misses as the 10 second clapper sounds. Very good opening round indeed for Narek Zakarayan, the Armenian boxer wearing red. And there's confirmation, all five judges scoring in his favor. Well, Goodsey started the round effectively using his jab, but then the further the round went on, Zakarayan was really able to find the range consistently. Good seat, becoming just a little bit disorganized. As he was backed up by some accurate shot selection like that from Zakarayan. Second out, please. Round two. Well, Vladislav Gudzi, the 2019 European Youth Silver Medalist at 64 kilograms, having his hands full 
He's a man who took European junior bronze in 2018 at the same weight class because Narek Zakarayan has really been putting it on his opponent through the opening three minutes. And now looking to long bridges man with that lead left hand is Goodsy. That's clearly a tactical adjustment that has been made in the corner because he's looking intent to stay off the ropes here, Goodsy, where he was almost willingly retreating to the perimeter of the boxing, the perimeter of the boxing ring in the opening round. Left-right combination is a nice salvo from Goodsy. So now Goodsy again looking to just maintain that gap, bringing a right hand over the top. Zachary Ryan momentarily turning southport. Didn't stay in the port sided stance for very long. Goodsy dancing back towards his own corner. Zachary Ryan scores with a left jab once again when Goodsy's back is on the ropes. Left jab on the resumption landed by Goodsy. Zacharyan just not having the success that he did in the opening round, and that perhaps is to the change due to the change in tactics being implemented by Goodsy. Corkscrew right hand lands on the back foot from Goodsy. Nice defensive maneuvers from the tall boxer wearing blue. And then he scores with a left jab. Zacharyan stepping back into the pocket, but he's being tied up when he arrives in his preferred punching territory. Swing and a miss as the boxers disengage. That's a solid right hand landed as Zacharyan turns southpaw once again and then look at him burrow away with punches to the body. As Goodsy turns him to get off the ropes. Nice left jab landed by Goodsy. Closing seconds of this second round. Goodsy momentarily turned southpaw. He operated as a left-handed boxer for large portions in his round of 32 win. Brings a right uppercut into play, and Goodsy cutting an altogether more composed figure by using the space of the boxing ring rather than voluntarily retreating to the ropes. Terrific response by Vladislav Goodsy. And he has got himself right back into this contest, taking it for four of the five scoring judges. It is all square, 19 points apiece for judges A, B, C, and D. Terrific response from Vladislav Gudzi, who discernibly changed his tactics and completely neutralized what was the effective aggression of Zakharyan over the course of the first three minutes. In the second round, he turned the table, set himself up in the space of the ring and made life very difficult indeed for the man in red. Clever boxing, who will be able to impose their tactics in this third and final round. Round three. So this battle of national champions has come down to practically a three-minute shootout because for four of the five scoring judges, it is 19 points apiece, one round apiece. Zacharyan was rampant in the first round with pinning Goodsy to the ropes consistently. But then Goodsy made an adjustment as he lands a hard right hand to the body. But look at the right hands over the top from Zacharyan as the two men engaging in a trade-off at centre ring. Well, my goodness, they're testing one another's punch resistance here now. Zacharyan looking to bob and weave his way forwards behind high-held hands. He lands an arcing right hand. Came up from his pecs and landed. Goodsy responds with a roundhouse right of his own. Well, the intentions of both boxers absolutely clear, but right now they're engaging... Oh, that's a beautifully picked right cross from Goodsy. 
That's the type of boxing he wants to produce. And then right in response is the type of boxing that Zachar Ryan wants to exhibit, driving his man back to the ropes. And he answers the right hand that he took in the space of center ring by pinning Goody to the strands and landing a right cross of his own. Back and forth action through the first half of this final round. Goodsy looking to operate in the space of the boxing ring and away from the ropes. But that's where Zachar Ryan's got him right now. Oh, what a right hand on the resumption. Single crisp right cross and then another nudging one on the downward trajectory from the taller boxer in blue. Left hand dug into the solar plexus from Zachar Ryan, looking for a left hand body shot, but then the left right upstairs, swiveling the head of Goodsy. Another right hand crashes through from the compact figure wearing red. Nice defensive maneuver from Goodsy, making the man miss, but he didn't make him pay. So Zachar Ryan looking to tuck up behind his gloves now, walking forward, scores with two shots to the body. Goodsy lands an eye catching right cross once again. Threatens to uncoil the right hand, but didn't commit on the shot. Zachar Ryan lands a left hand to the body. Both boxers feeling the pace in this one. But a place in the quarterfinals is a prize that both of these men are fighting for. Uppercut brought into play by Goodsy. Left uppercut this time from the man in blue. Zachar Ryan pouring forwards, made to miss. Goodsy trying to get up on his toes and impress the judges. Came forward with a four-shot cluster, but couldn't find the range. 10-second clapper has sounded in the closing sessions of what has been a pulsating affair. Goodsy lands a right cross. What a contest. An absolutely brilliant three three-minute rounds. In a bout which came down to the final three minutes, both men enjoyed success. And how will the judges see this one? There was pecking, poking success from Goodsy. Zachar Ryan landing with right hands like that. We've got five judges seated all around the ring, and how are they going to see it? For what it's worth, I happen to think the long-range shots like that from Goodsy were just enough to nick it. But that's just my perspective. This one is going to the scorecards, and we will now hear the official announcement declaring the scores of the Ladies five judges. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this bout by split decision is the boxer from the... Blue corner, Vladislav Gudzi. And Davia. for the second bout in succession here at Kielce 2021, Vladislav Gudzi has produced a come from behind victory. Almost overwhelmed in the opening round, but my goodness, didn't he demonstrate terrific composure to box his way through to the quarterfinal stage of the men's 69 kilogram welterweight division, changing his tactics and coming out on top by taking rounds two and three. Round three in unanimous fashion, round two, four, one. And that is credit to the tactical change in the corner and to 